All right, well, uh, today we're at the beach and we're gonna shoot some expired film. And by the beach, I mean Sugar House, because it's flooded and expired film is this pack of SX-70 film, which I'm giving air quotes because it only expired in 2021. So it's probably gonna be just fine. Oh yeah, and um, the camera is the SX-70, of course. Uh, foldy one, like that, pretty cool. All right, so uh, got through about three shots. Actually, exactly three shots. They're right here. Um, all of them seem to be a bit overexposed. This one is overexposed and blurry, so great one there, but pretty fun. The lake is looking awesome. I guess I really shouldn't say the lake. It's kind of like a reservoir. Um, yeah, I only have eight shots total, which is the kind of sucky thing about Polaroid film. Um, but the light came out, it's looking gorgeous. I'll try to finish it here. We'll see. It's also a little bit tricky because it's only 160 ISO. Um, so not a ton of light or whatever exposure. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but yeah, it just makes it a little bit tricky for shooting in low light. All right, so um, I just took the fourth shot. Uh, I think this is where I'm gonna end it. Um, it's still really pretty out, as you can see, but a little bit too dark for the SX-70. So I'm gonna call it here. Here are the four shots. Um, none are super duper amazing. Uh, fun with the novelty of the flooded Sugar House Park, but yeah, some of them are blurry, some are over overexposed, some are both. Um, my favorite is probably this one, which actually turned out pretty well. Um, then the rest are super duper overexposed. Um, and I tried to fix that while I was shooting. Uh, the SX-70 has this exposure compensation dial. Switch it to lighter, switch it to darker. So I kept pushing it to darker. But um, one thing that I figured out later on was that when you close this, it resets the uh, compensation. So you open it back up and right there, it's perfect. So um, I'd always compensate, then close it, then open it up, forget that it reset, take the picture and it would be overexposed again. Uh, so that's just a little gripe with the camera, but can't complain too much because the film did work out. I got some photos um, halfway through the roll. So I'll have four more pictures to take somewhere else. All right, well, hi again. Um, it's been a little while. The uh, lake pond thing at Sugar House has dried up, so I didn't really know what to do with the rest of these shots uh, with the SX-70 and the black and white. So um, today I'm actually up, it's called City Creek Canyon. Um, there's a creek over there which is flowing pretty rapidly, I thought, Maybe it could be interesting. I just brought my camera just in case. I actually wasn't even really planning on taking any photos, but um, I just take, took one uh, right down there, kind of like a still life, I guess. Um, that dead stick and all the green little plant thing. So yeah, there it is. Um, and probably just keep walking around here. Maybe finish up the remainder of the shots. right now of course not my best I think uh, hasn't finished developing yet but kind of just looks very messy in the frame and uh, cluttered with nothing that really draws your attention so two down two more to go see if we can improve off that
All right, so I biked a little bit further down um, City Creek Canyon into a different place, which is actually called Memory Grove. Um, so Memory Grove is basically just like the last bit of City Creek before it opens up into downtown. Um, I made sure to save one shot for down here because I really wanted to get one of like all of these sandbags along the riverbank. All right, so just finished up the pack with that last photo uh, of City Creek from Memory Grove. Um, this one uh, turned out fine. I think that the composition's a little bit wacky. There's a lot of sky in it, but I'm pretty happy with it. The other three from a little bit higher up in City Creek are awesome. I love how contrasty they are. Um, so I'm really happy with these four photos. And then the other four from Sugar House, I'm really happy with them too. I don't think all of those turned out quite as well, but it's always nice to just have a physical Polaroid photo, even if the subject is not amazing. So uh, yeah, I would say this film worked out wonderfully. Um, I did have to underexpose all of the photos. There was that one photo from Sugar House that I forgot to set the exposure compensation on the SX-70 and it's very overexposed. Um, can't really make out too much details because it's so overexposed, but the rest of the shots worked out great. And then from today, I do think the first one I took is my favorite. Um, I mean, the contrast just looks awesome and it's surprisingly sharp. Um, that's one thing that I didn't really expect. I didn't expect these pictures to be so sharp, but it's pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, film worked out fantastic. Um, I'm going to go take these home and scan them on my V550. Uh, I mean, you've already seen all of the digital photos in the video, obviously, but um, yeah, I'm going to use a flatbed scanner to digitize these and yeah, that's pretty much the video. It worked out great. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I also have one other pack. So when I bought this pack, I got a black and white pack and an expired color pack. So a little bit later on, I'll be shooting that color pack. So you will be seeing the SX-70 again. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching this one and see you on the next one.